Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm at the National Herbalist Association of Australia Seminar Series in Sydney. And with me again, this is my third interview with Rob Sanchich. Hey Rob. How are you? I'm great. That's How good. are you? I'm tired. I know, you've been talking all day. <laughs> talking all day, that's And you right. have to feed the chooks. I've got to feed the chooks. And you've got well, to... all the chooks have been fed, but you know. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, um, Rob has travelled all over Australia with the National Herbalist Association. That's He's right. one of Australia's most respected herbalists. Can you tell me kind about you your... You're welcome, you are. You mm. know this. Mm. I do. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> okay, now, can you tell me about the seminar series, where you went? It was great. Like, we started in um, Canberra. Yeah. And we've been all around. We've done Brisbane, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth, now Sydney, That's and, and, and uh, Hobart. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. And it's been excellent. It's, you know, we've, um, you know, spoken about some controversial topics. I have in particular. Mm, fantastic. And, and trying to get people to think about some controversial issues. Um, and I think today, actually, I'm really pleased with the audience in Sydney today. They were really open and receptive. And I think some positive things are, are starting to happen. And you know, I can see I can see a rosy future for a lot of a lot of things. You know, that's brilliant. Yeah. So, what's the actual topic you were talking about in the seminar? The first one was um, resilience in children. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the factors that that reduce resilience? You know, why why do children uh, why are they impacted? You know, what are, and, and I mostly talked about sort of sociological things. Mm -hmm. You know, negative sociological things in our society and how they reduce. Health, basically. Okay, yeah. and you've written a book on children. What's the title of that? It's called Healthy Children, Optimising Children's Health with Herbs. Yeah. And, and I wrote it with Kerry Barn. Well, I actually wrote it and he kind of edited it. Fantastic. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, you guys work together as a team in quite a few projects, don't you? Well, we're, we're together in um, at the University of New England. Mm -hmm. So we, we run a, a postgraduate course up there and, and we're both lecturers. Excellent. Yeah. Now, with the seminar series, you mm. spoke on two topics. What was the second topic? The second one was autism. Yeah. You know, the, the series. This is a serious, devastating condition, and parents, you know, are really up against the wall when you know an autistic child develops. So, so, and once again, I spoke about you know some controversial areas around the cause, the causations, and whatnot. And uh, but really, I wanted to focus on you know, uh, you know, how to go about treating. Uh, a child where it's very difficult in getting medicines in because you're immediately changing their routine and their mm. life is about routine. Absolutely, so, and you yeah. use herbal medicines with children with problems? Yeah, I'm a herbalist. Yeah, so fantastic. Yeah, so what yeah. kind of herbs are your favourite herbs? Man, that's a difficult question. That is a real mm. difficult question. Um, you know, I, I guess the herbs that I use most would be probably adaptogen, you know, like herbs that help the stress response yep. and herbs that calm down the nervous system because that's what I see a lot of really, really stressed out people uh, that need help in that area. A lot of digestive remedies, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of chamomile and, and all of the, you know, gentian and ginger and all, all of those ones, you know, lots and lots of digestive remedies. Um, and um, yeah. So. Great. Now you've got a website, herbrob.com. Herbrob.com. That's a great website. <laughs> and um, please look up Rob's website. And you practice in Avalon in Sydney. I'm in Avalon Sydney. in Sydney, yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, Rob. Good on you. Thank you.